we finally got down to something which the individual says he really wants to do, I will say to him, you do that. And uh, forget the money. Uh, because if you say that getting the money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. You'll be doing things you don't like doing in order to go on living, that is to go on doing things you don't like doing, which is stupid. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. Hey, come on, come on, yeah. I don't want the fame, uh-uh, cause I don't want the fame. Uh, a two-step with me, come on. Two-step with me, come on. Uh, do what you tell me, as you are. One, two, three. Free talk what is going on guys? Marine here from Student Aesthetics. Welcome to a new episode of My Shredder Lifestyle. We're cycling here a little bit on Venice Beach on our way to hit a beach workout. Because when it comes to fitness, a lot of people think black and white. They only think in, you know, lifting weights in the gym. But there are obviously multiple ways you can work out. And in this case, we're gonna have some fun with it as well. And we're gonna also get a tan on. So this is uh, like multiple. So how do you guys have fun with it? The average Joe wants to know, huh? What are you gonna have the fun with? Yeah, have I don't know. I don't know what his problem was. Man. Have fun with what? <laughs> Some crack. I'm having the time of my life, bro. <laughs> what are you talking about? So that's how we're gonna start this off. Kill multiple birds in one stone and get a pump on. Let's do it. Alright guys, so we are here pretty much next to Muscle Beach. There's kind of a calisthenics park here. We got bars, we got ropes. We got a lot of stuff to work with. Uh, so we're gonna have a cool beach workout here. First, we obviously do a warm up. So we cycle first, you know, get pretty much the legs warm. And we're gonna do some uh, dynamic stretches as well. Just some stretches in general. So it looks like I'm doing a real leg warm up here, but this is actually also for the upper body, especially the lower back, which is gonna be pretty important because um, we're gonna do some exercise where we use the lower back. So we obviously wanna make sure it's fully warm. So the workout we're doing today is pretty much gonna be an upper body workout, mainly uh, chest and back. If you guys can't do pull-ups yet, you can do it seated like this on the floor. And it's a lot easier. I mean, you can make it a row as well by going more like this. And so I use it as a warm up for my back. Just do a couple of reps. Really works the rear out as well, the more you go forward with your feet. Nice vibes. It's time to get this started. What I'm gonna do here is not a pull-up, but it's a scapular retraction for the warm-up. It's basically the same thing you do when you get ready for an exercise. Try to squeeze your shoulder blades together, so it's just the beginning of the movement. And then you fully hang straight. So the best exercise to start off with for me is gonna be the muscle up because that trains the whole upper body and it's also a very hard exercise to do so I wanna get that out of the way first while I have all my energy. So let's get it started. I'm not gonna go to failure on this one because I actually wanna make sure you have some reps left in the tank so you can do multiple sets. So you don't wanna you know, burn out completely after the first set. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Okay, so we got six decent reps there. Definitely have more in the tank, probably could do 10. Now I'm gonna do multiple sets, so I'm gonna take about one and a half minutes rest. A little bit more on this exercise, because this is, you know, the big compound that we're gonna do today, the hardest one. We just went to Vegas That's for the so Olympia. Sick, oh yeah? How was and I Vegas? told Rob, like, why the fuck not go to LA? <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. How was Olympia? How was Vegas? Yeah. Oh, it was sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys are traveling here? Yeah. We're, living yeah, here. we're doing a week here and a week in San Fran. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, Sweet, do you want to take a picture? Yeah, let's take a photo. photo. Yeah. Looking big too, bro. You too, bro. You're Crazy. You got yeah. lead, man. Nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Cool. Hey, come on. Come on. Yeah, I don't want the fame, uh-uh, cause I don't want fame, uh, a two-step with me, come on, two-step with me, come on. Uh. Alright guys, 
Yeah, so the four sets there on the muscle ups, four sets is six, so in total that's 24 reps with about one and a half minutes in between sets. So we got a good chest and back pump, feeling shoulders as well, pretty much whole upper body, even arms. And now we're gonna finish the back off with some pull ups. Um, so we're gonna do wide grip pull ups here on these rings, which makes it a little harder than a regular bar. And because we obviously already did the muscle ups. This works the core a lot as well because of the stabilization. When I come to this game, man, to change your brain. When I come to the game, man, to change the game. On the road to Richard, trying to make some change. On the road to Richard, never change for fame. I want a normal life. I want a normal life. I want a normal girl. I want a normal wife. I don't care about the bling or the flashy life. Because money ain't a thing if we ain't rapping right. Hey, every day, man, I hear the same songs. You ever hear the same songs when I turn on the radio? And these days, man, I swear now, fam, man, I turn off the shit because I don't feel the radio. So we got back out of the way. It's time to finish off with that chest. Do it. So Robin's telling me here that I should do a handstand on these bars uh, for the shoulders as well. Now last time I tried calisthenics, I couldn't even do a handstand with somebody holding my feet and shit. My stabilization is messed up. I'm gonna try for the fun of it anyway. Go. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh fuck. Fuck, almost. Yo, what's happening? Fuck, you did it. Pretty close, man. I'm getting it, man. Woo! Yeah. Adrenaline kicking in. Oh shit, no, now I'm high bro, no I'm fucking high. No limits peeps, no fucking limits. Alright, fuck, let's do it. Oh, almost. Yeah. Gotta get the stabilization right. You're getting a free sun this uh, day. Yeah. It's cool though, learning new shit. Yo, last time I literally couldn't do the assisted. Like the assisted handstand stuff. I'm gonna make it happen though. Damn. He is a strong motherfucker. Ah. Fuck. Third time is Scheepsga. I don't know what that is in English. Does that exist in English? Third time is ship straight. <laughs> anyway, the third time we're gonna get it right. Up, 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 up. Push, push, push. Wait. Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we feel today, peeps. Anyway, we got one step closer to the goal. So we made progress. We made improvement. We were gonna train chess. So. Lekker. Up, up. Damn. Sick. Ah. 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 So for dips, there are pretty much two variations you can do. Well, you can also do straight bar dips, uh, but as far as the regular dip goes, but yeah, keep the body straight. You use most of these triceps, or you can lift your knees up. What happens is your body tilts forward. And now you will hit your chest more. So that's what I'm gonna do first, and I'm gonna do some sets for triceps. So we're gonna finish off this workout by climbing the ropes. We're gonna try to do one hand on each rope. Using no legs, no no legs, right? No legs, no momentum, just arms. Since we're pretty much fry, let's see you with going down. He actually pulls it off. This is scary though, bro. <laughs> okay. Going down is like harder than going up. <laughs> scary shit. <laughs> that was kind of easy though. Go ahead. Give it a shot. Yes. 
Nice. You gotta try two arms at the same time jumping up. Oh, that one is harder. Also hurts the hands, man. Yeah. Go for it. No excuses. Pussy mode off. Oh. <laughs> turn it. Let's turn it back off, bro. Turn it back off. Let's go. Bam. Yes. Come on, guys. Oh, yeah. Nobody. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that was fun. No, no, no. <laughs> Damn, thank you. Thanks for coming down, man. No problem. <laughs> What's was your name again? Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Anthony here, just told, tell, tell him the story. Okay, so I live here in California, but when I know, when I found out he was doing the world tour, I went to Chicago to meet him, and then two days later he said he's doing the UK part of the world tour. Oh, man. But I had already bought everything. Oh, sorry, bro. But it's all yeah. love, the Alpha Lee team is oh, great. Man. All love, all love. <laughs> hey, it doesn't matter, we're here anyway now. Hell yeah. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Well, you made it happen, bro, you made it happen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me show you I appreciate that man. So you just saw it on the uh, Instagram stories and you came yeah. down. And he brought me a white monster, <laughs> which is awesome. Yeah, they want to see like a stalker. I just hit a workout, but yeah, let's like, <laughs> we'll just keep the fast going, it's I guess. It's warm, bro. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> That's why I met Rob Oh yeah, nice. And nice. Then, yeah, it's unfortunately cool. I didn't come down, but um, yeah, it's cool, man. You get out in LA. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> man, you're fucking safe, bro. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. it. I don't even watch your channel. Alright, uh, how about a year and a half? Okay, sick. And it's fucking like changed my life. Like, I used to be a chicken broccoli type of guy, and I'm only 18. You need to think about it. my youth fucking going to shit, but yeah. now, like, no, I'm still underage, but I don't drink. But if I was, I know I could fit into my macro. Exactly. Because of you. <laughs> oh, man, I appreciate it, man. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It's like, it's exactly what happened to my own life. I'm trying to share it now because I had that lifestyle as well. We just eat chicken and broccoli, and at some point I was like, there gotta be a better way, man. She can. Okay. There she is. Hi. It is me. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're running into subscribers here. <laughs> What's your name? Simone. Nice to meet you, Simone. Yeah, we're from Sweden. Yeah, we're awesome, from Sweden. Awesome, awesome. I'm from Annelius. So, we've come oh, all the way Mariah. here to Muscle Beach, yeah. actually, to meet Mariah, you. So. To meet me. Mariah. You came all the way from Sweden. Yeah. Not me. <laughs> to meet no, me. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Can we take a picture? Yeah, for it's sure. For sure. We, she hoped to see you, so because I guess I saw it's because you. of you. Yeah, so yeah. I saw you were a bit speech, so. Oh, awesome. Oh, you yeah, really? Yeah. Oh, you came down because you saw it on Instagram? Yeah. Oh, same story with this guy right there. <laughs> Anthony came down as well. So cool. <laughs> awesome. That's my little sister. <laughs> <laughs> we're having little beat ups here. <laughs> She's so happy. So yeah. cool. Let her make sure that the picture is right. Yeah. Y'all yeah. came down all the way down I'm just here. Gonna take a lot. <laughs> of take pictures. a lot. Yeah. What are you doing there? Just. Uh, so we went. We went to Vegas for the Olympia, and then I was like, well, when we're in Vegas, we can. We should go to LA as well. Cause it, it's not much more expensive, and so we're just shooting cool videos out here. So yeah, I flew my videographer over yeah. and everything. Okay. Hi. Everything for What's the content. Wyro. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice Everything for the content, you. that's what we do. Yeah. Um, when you go back home? Yeah. No idea yet. I live by the week. 
<laughs> we'll see, yeah. Just keep on growing the YouTube channel, social media. And I'm working on a few businesses and stuff. How long have you been working yeah. together? Uh, me and Wyro, we started when we started the My Shred Lifestyle series. So um, about three months ago, I guess. About three months. Yeah, you're yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we released it in English oh, cool. like uh, a week ago. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's guys, it's, it's the coolest feeling in the world. Like, I feel. Well, the coolest feeling, like for a sister, like that's my little sister, and to you know hear her talking about you know a random guy on yeah, the yeah. it's like oh, okay. it's, it's kind of random, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. To but me as well. Like, but when when it comes to like an inspiration. Like yeah. when she follows up with her routines and stuff, and then she just yeah. says your name, and I'm like, who the fuck is he? And now I just saw him, and I was like, is that him? And she was like, no, 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 no. And I was like, I'm gonna ask. Awesome. Appreciate you coming down. Yeah, you have bye. a good day. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. All right, Andrew. <laughs> This is cool, this is a little fat meat up here. Let's do a photo. This is oh yeah. Damn, how much were you weighing there? Uh two two five. Shit. Uh, we got a we got a before and after incoming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a before. I don't know if you can see it. Can we see this? Yeah, we can see it. Alright, so before he was weighing two oh five pounds, right? Yeah. And now after? We're looking at one fifty two? No. Yeah. So how much did you lose? A little over 50 pounds. So he's about 152 pounds there. So he lost over 50 pounds in total, which is obviously an amazing accomplishment, man. It is. Damn, congratulations. Oh, that's great. I follow you up with Lois, please. Oh, sweet, Yeah, sweet. I, I made a little right. tweaks. I woke up five days with a guy there, another upper. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, yeah. I've done that as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to do a push and pull, but I don't know that. I feel like I just love hitting arms every other day. <laughs> then just do it, man. At the end of the day, when it's about working out, I really believe you should do a workout that you like. What do you like most? Because if you don't like the workouts, you don't really want to go to the gym. And if you really like it, like you're going to kill it and make progress. So I made, I made a lot of progress. I'm Sweet man. <laughs> they say don't meet your heroes, man. But like, like you're this shit. Am I your hero? <laughs> you're, That's you're cool to hear, man. I'm just a guy, bro. I'm just a guy, but uh, like, you, you, makes me cool to feel. You're humble. Like, you're, humble huh? you're just a guy. Yeah. That was amazing. Just two subscribers randomly coming down because they saw on Instagram stories that I was somewhere here. So there may be more people we're gonna run into. I, I have no idea. I don't really see that as stalking. I think it's actually super cool. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure if if Wyro captured it on film, but. I yeah, tell them like, I yeah, so. that really, it, it makes my day, like literally, and it's still kind of unreal to me, but um, I'm gonna enjoy that for all, like, it, it'll never get old. I'll always enjoy it. So we are out here now post-workout, mainly just taking some photos for Alphalete, the new launch, and then afterwards, I'm gonna have like a big dinner tonight. Excuse me, the traveling feels, man. So I'm just gonna have a little bit of tuna here and oil, because some friends are coming by. They're actually from the Netherlands as well. They happen to be in LA at the same time, so I'm gonna grab dinner with them. This is kind of like the first meal today. Only had a protein bar and an apple earlier, because it's almost seven o'clock already. We shot a lot of content and photos today, so time really, really just passed, um, but I need to eat something before I eat out, otherwise I'm gonna have to like go crazy and I'm like starving. Um, so I'm also gonna have probably a little bit of this Greek yogurt. So I'm just going like high in protein right now and then uh, gonna eat out. Robin and Wire are having an epic meal here. Not sure what it is, but it smells amazing. It smells hella good. Yeah, what's in there, chicken? Yeah, chicken, uh, fried, fried, fried chicken. rice, no, vegetables. Stop it. Just stop it. I'm here with, with, with a can of tuna. <laughs> uh, fitness life, man. Yesterday I had a cheat meal with Rob. Obviously, well, it turned into a complete cheat day. So today I'm kind of taking it easy. Not that many calories today, just to make up for it. And that's why I don't really mind having a cheat day as long as it's planned. I don't do it too often. And then the day before and the day after, I'll just eat like a little bit less. And that is it. For some reason, I actually think it's not even that bad. Especially if you're hungry. Now for those that are wondering what watch I'm wearing, it's a tie rock again. This is a different one. I don't not sure if you guys have seen it before on my channel. I really like it. 10 ladder strap, black and gold, clean AF. So I read a guy let you know, trying to get it with my flow, I ain't trying to be famous. So I read a guy let you know, trying to get it on the low, I ain't trying to be brainer. Yeah, so back at this place called Sokaya, and we're having the muscle bowl again. A lot of chicken in there, and then on the side having some corn. And this is the first big meal of the day. So I had dinner there with a couple of friends back home. Afterwards, we had a couple of drinks. Had a really good night. It was good catching up. And it's funny because one of those friends, I um, actually used to work for him like way back in the day. He used to own a gaming company, and he was very successful. He is, I would say, my main inspiration as an entrepreneur. 
um, or you know, one of the reasons why I started all of this, I would say, even though I'm not sure if I know it or he knows it, but I think that kind of was the reason why. And it was because I started working for him and he was actually back in my high school. He was very, very young. He started, um, you know, working on that gaming company when he was like, I think, 14 years old. Locked himself up in his basement. Um, at some point, he didn't really go to high school anymore because it started to become something, right? Took him years, but he built up something. And at the age of 17, when he was 17 and I was 17 as well, he started his office. He used to work for him together with another friend, and that was the other friend that was joining us tonight, all right? So it was the three of us. And that's when the office started. And that office grew within a year to like over 15 employees. He became successful as fuck. Even though, you know, everybody in high school thought he was a huge nerd. Everybody laughed at him until he freaking made it. And I think in some way that gave me a lot of inspiration for this. Because I, I saw all of that that happened to him. And I saw how, you know, he got himself into that world. Um, he actually took me on a business trip when I was 17. And the main thing that I got from the business trip was that all the networking he did, all the connections he made at such a young age, he didn't let age affect him at all. And I think that is where I got a lot of motivation from. And I'm pretty goddamn sure that is what made me start all of this as well. Because it takes a lot of balls doing that and, you know, stopping to care what other people think. And that is the main step you have to take if you want to become an entrepreneur. And more importantly, if you want to do something different than all the other people are doing. And that's what I did as well. So it was just really cool catching up with him. He's, they are both doing freaking amazing, um, all killing it. And that's cool because it's five years later and we're all doing great. We're killing the game and just, it's, it's cool, man. It's cool, man, just catching up with people that are doing good as well because you want them to succeed. Um, so that was all great there. Who was mm, fucking up the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> you are. I am. Uh, my channel is not just about fitness, but it's really about life motivation, business motivation as well. Just becoming a better person than you were yesterday. And I still really want to spread that message. So that's why I thought it was cool to share that story with you guys. If you want to start something, I know not everybody wants to. But if you want to do something or if you want to do something different or you know, start your own business, be successful or whatever, then freaking go for it. And that's always what I'm trying to tell you guys. Anyway, it's all about being happy. And with that said, I want to wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm cooking up some chicken right now to end the night. Get some more gains in, because I only had that, that like kind of like big meal. Probably eat something else as well. Uh, I've got some rice cakes right here. That's how we do. Keep it kind of healthy, especially after yesterday, the cheat day and everything. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below. Highly appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Be shameless. So I really got that you know, but I told you all before, I ain't trying to be famous. Hey, I do the rock away. Now come on, I do the rock away. Now come on, I lean back. Come on, lean back. Come on, lean back. Come on, I lean back. Come on, and all my people just.